So in previous video, we have installed the A14 on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and this is the video for uh, Jasmine Sprout. So I have the Mi A2, which is started from uh, Android Oreo 8.1, 9 and then 10. It stopped right there and from the custom ROM, we got the 11, 12 and 13. So now we have uh, A14 port ROM for this one. So in this video, I will be installing on uh, my device and probably we will uh, test it for some day and we will make a review so let's just uh, get back get back get to the computer so here is my uh, mi a2 the red one the good one so uh, the rom that we are going to install is this aosp uh, and 14 is pure uh, aosp and uh, this one is not a custom rom actually it is uh, how do i say it's a port rom by lucas so here we it's a test build and scarlet x is by default kernel and rs fox recovery by default non retrofit build so these are all great and here i have the flashing guide and some uh, screenshot which we can check and here is the uh, download link so i have downloaded this one 1.33 gb and how to flash it's a port rom so you no need to switch any partition it will be directly uh, installed on your current partition and you have to disable the setting OTA setting which we will do and wipe uh, both the slot and yeah first we will boot the orange fox and then we will wipe it so as of now uh, my device ha is running some I don't know some OS so but I will be directly uh, turning on the fast boot mode for that I have to use uh, volume down and power so volume down and power so make sure you have backed up all your data because uh, that is really really important and yes so once we are connected into this one, I have to open the platform tools. I have the platform tool in different one. So yeah, so here I have platform tool. Once you open the platform tool, you have to type CMD. And here I have it. Now I have to uh, uh, do the fastboot devices. So it will show the device is connected or not. Actually now my device is connected. So what I have to do now, well, uh, uh, fast boot uh, boot and then i have to boot the orange fox recovery so i already did uh, downloaded the orange fox recovery inside here so this is the 11.1.3.1 uh, revision so it is stable one and for that i have to extract this file zip file and then once it is extracted here i have the recovery.img file which i have to drag and drop and then enter which will eventually boot that uh, into my mobile so yeah so now i am inside the orange fox so what i will do is i will select all this and i will just format okay so now currently i am in which partition i don't know so first i will do the current partition Currently, I'm in A partition, okay, and now I'll switch to B partition and format that as well. How I can switch? Manage partition now. I have to switch to B slot. Switching to B may not work, so for that I have to, so, nice. We, we should have uh, re rebooted it to recovery again or something it just happens so no need to worry so we wait for some time if it is not working we will try we will force restart or something so it doesn't seems to be working so what i'll do is i will just do and volume down and power okay so now it is in fast boot. I will again boot to this one recovery using the same command. So now if it is in B or something, it will be great. Slot is A and now I will try to switch the slot. So in this recovery, the switching slot is uh, not properly working, I believe. So yeah. So uh, for that reason, I may try to use the uh, TWRP which may work so I will use the uh, fast boot 
pass to board to board and then i'll keep the twrp somewhere here yeah here i have it so i'll drag and drop this twrp and do it so in twrp i will uh, switch to b partition and then i will flash the orange fox recovery okay so here it is in a i will switch to b okay and then if i wipe means okay that's not good so i will just uh, reboot to bootloader and i'll again uh, run the same command so it will open it in the b partition i don't know from a partition only we can format the b partition now it is in b partition so this time uh, i even can uh, directly install the orange fox using the adb side load so I will just uh, now, now it is in ADB side load method. Here I can do ADB devices. So ADB devices now running. In the meantime, I will open this folder. Here I have the orange fox. So this time uh, it is in side load method. So now I type ADB space side load. And then I have to drag and drop this uh, uh, orange fox recovery stable zip file okay no no need to do uh, image file you have to drag and drop the zip file so it will get uh, uh, side loaded to our device so now it will successfully boot into orange for recovery in b partition so in the b partition now we will uh, format and we can directly install the customer hope that is uh, clear okay so now here i can check which partition it is actually in so reboot reboot so it is in still it is in okay it is in a b partition so now i will here use the side load method and now i can easily side load the uh, custom row sorry uh, port row so adb side load and then i can drag and drop this uh, aosp Jasmine Sprout to G apps and enter. Okay, so I will just check here it is silo. Okay, silo requirement argument. Wait, uh, ADB devices. ADB devices. No, it is not connected. So I stop it. Okay, so now I will enable the ADB side load. Okay, ADB is starting. Now, now this ADB device is not at all working. No friends, it's not working. So I will reboot to bootloader and I will just, uh, what I would say. I will just use the TWRP which seems to be working so i am not worrying about anything because uh, the rom itself coming with the uh, working orange fox so that won't be an issue so i even close the cmd okay nice platform tool i will open it okay so here i have my platform tool so in the fast boot i will just side load the orange fox recovery i have it in here sorry uh, side load the twrp little bit confused so fast boot boot and then i just uh, drag and drop this twrp so i will leave the uh, both the links in the description so you can choose wisely so in twrp i will side load this so advanced adb side load yes 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 so here uh, adb side load and then i'll drag and drop this android 14 how i can do yeah okay so now it is serving correctly so let it uh, install after that uh, So it is taking quite amount of time because the file is almost on and off GB. So yeah. 
जब सम एम आई यू है इट विल बी लाइक टू पॉइंट सिक्स और फोर जी थ्री प्लस जी बीज बट होप दैट इज फाइन सो नाउ इट सीम्स टू बी इंस्टॉल्ड सो वी नो नीड टू स्विच पार्टीशन और समथिंग वी कैन जस्ट रिबूट सिस्टम वी इवन कैन रिमूव दिस वन सो दिस इज जस्ट अ डिफॉल्ट बोट एनिमेशन ऑल्सो दे डिड इन टेल इट इज अ स्टेबल बिल्ड और समथिंग इट इज जस्ट अ टेस्ट बिल्ड सो दैट इज ऑल्सो देर सो लेट इट बोट बाई द टाइम आई विल जस्ट इन सट सिम कॉर ओके सो या बिल्ड डू दी एफ आर पी क्विकली द जी एप्स इज ऑलरेडी इंक्लूडेड विद दिस बिल्ड सो ओके यस and uh, can't use all the device okay i just sign in with my google account so i can uh, make use of this uh, and the one thing that i uh, like about ma a2 compared to note 5 pro note 5 pro is a uh, legend i would say but uh, this look at this uh, slimness this is because uh, of battery i would say <laughs> but still it is uh, great guys um pattern plus fingerprint okay so always so now we are uh, finally in the home screen of the one so i'll open here and go mi a2 about device and here i have the I don't know why here it is showing instead of in the top, but here also it is missing. So there are few glitches here and there, but uh, it's fine, I guess. And I guess this is not uh, this one. So user debug phones and kernel is uh, 4.19, and that is great. And this is February one security patch. Uh, okay, and this is a little bit older. but here we have the android 14 that is great and next thing is this one issue i even faced with the, that one back button is not at all working so i'll just uh, switch to quick switch and try the things um, okay we have two button navigation as well which is great and all my applications are uh, getting installed now and charging this device via usb so now the usb is not at all connected but it is still uh, showing uh, via usb it is yeah so there are few glitches i can initially find as it is a test build uh, yeah surely that would be fine just to uh, test the device if you have any secondary device of uh, mi a2 you can just uh, try it but i will be using this as my uh, primary device or something and yeah sim card also seems to be working so geo is coming and i'll try to call seems like uh, old is not fully there and mobile network Geo settings I have to open right. So Geo settings, mobile data is turned on. It is set as three uh, G. Make sure you change it to four G. And this garbage will happen all the time. So I have now set to preferred LTE. So now the network is there. So I will try to. But still, uh, one time airplane mode I'll start. still uh, it's not uh, working i don't know this volt is not at all uh, there or what i don't know maybe after a restart it may work volt uh, features are not part of uh, pure evo usb i guess so they have to manually add it i don't know whether it is already baked into the evo usb google's one so I'll try to restart the device and check if OT is working. Also, we have this uh, AOSP camera uh, 
by default so that also we will uh, check so now i restarted the device so let me check no this voltage is uh, not seems to be working so we will check those things on uh, full review so camera so it's basic uh, aosp camera it is there and uh, youtube um, yeah, this is uh, pretty much about uh, this one there isn't much to talk about this so i will uh, try a few things here and there and if it is worth making a review i will make it and let me know in the comment section so thank you for watching Kotmata.